guys, my name is Maengi. Today I'm in Lamu. This is my first day here. And I'm gonna review a bunch of foods as I am here. So, we have rice, which is wali. But then this is not really Kenyan. It's, it's found everywhere. This is not important. This is what's important. Samakiya nazi. Nazi is coconut. So this is coconut type curry. You find it in coastal Kenya. And you have the fish right inside it. Huh? And now, this you, you can also have your fish just fried. And then I have chapati here. Okay, chapati is a really important Kenyan meal. This is so, so important. Made it Kenyan. Call chapati. In other places, you hear it called parata, whatever. But this is chapati in Kenya. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my first bite of this. Good. It just has the right amount of salt. Just be sure to order this with a drink so that you could like down it. And then this, this is the fish. Lemon, uh, limau. You gotta squeeze it on top of the fish and then have it all. Then now I can try the fish. Just with my hands. It's really, really good. Now, I'm gonna try this curry. I'm not gonna try the fish. Tastes really, really good. All these foods highly recommended. Okay, cut them. Okay, guys, I'm having chapati here. I had to. I ordered two more because they were really good. The name of the restaurant is Malili. It's right along the waterfront. You can pan out to show. Show these buildings, these two buildings in the back. Mm -hmm. And this stuff, order this with the chapati, it will go really well. See, I'm halfway done with the fish. Also, when you order fish, be careful, it has a lot of bones. Fish, just samaki. You can have it fried, grilled, or you can have it with the nazi, with the nazi thing with the coconut. It's kind of like a coconut curry, but not. It's Kenyan style soup, I would say. Mm. Lamu style or coastal style soup. Because in Nairobi, we don't really put coconut in anything. Because we don't have coconuts in Nairobi. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have more of my chapati. Maybe bell pepper. Definitely has tomatoes, onions, and stuff like that. I don't know what else is inside. I am here reviewing Lamu street food. These are snacks from Lamu. This is Simpson. We find these in a lot of places around the world. But this, I mean, even in Arabic you can't find them, but then not sold in the same way. Okay, this is Simpson. This is they're smashed brown nuts. And these are juku ya mraba. You hear mraba, but it's mraba. This is juku ya lebanian. So I'll try all of them.
Le Benia. I wouldn't really like highly recommend them. Anyway, I'm going to do a very short part about these because the main focus is actually food, not Kenyan snacks or anything like that. I'm going to finish up and then. Okay, hello guys, my name is Maingi. Now I will be reviewing street food and ramen. Here we have Mushkaki. This is beef. Here we have octopus. This is octopus, you can see the things. And this is fish. Kimi samaki, fish. Okay, I'm gonna try all of these. And also I'm gonna, this is a mkato anyam or swahili pizza. In English, that's what we, people call it. I'm gonna start with Oh yes, really, really good. Can I add this with the salad? but octopuses are generally chewy. Now some much fish. Fish was done. They have something very similar in Malaysia, Singapore. I will say that. And in in Tanzania, sometimes it's also even called a Zanzibar pizza. Okay. The first restaurant that I went to yesterday is closed, so I'm going to go to the second one. I just passed the Donkey Sanctuary. It's another recommended place to visit if you go to Lamu. I mean, it's not so important. It's not important, like, it's not as important as the Lamu Museum and the Lamu Fort. Okay, and I'll also be honest, I'm feeling super drowsy. I had to take anti malaria drugs yesterday at night. It's, it's recommended when traveling in the East African coast. Because you know, water, breeding ground for mosquitoes. And don't want to get sick while traveling, so take anti malaria drugs. Okay. So I'm in breakfast. In, uh, no, I'm having breakfast in Lamu. Uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, Maragon Yanazi. 
and then chapati and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks like. I have chapati, I have yazi, I have forgotten what this is called, but it's also really good. I have samosa, these are samosa, and then this. That's had in a lot of Kenyan breakfast. And then I have chai. This is important. This is found all over Kenya. Most of this is found all over Kenya, but this is uniquely coastal. Okay. More commonly eaten with hands, you cut your chapati and then you eat it with this. Or this and this. You put this, this in the middle of this. But I'm not eating with my hands because I'm holding my camera and you know, COVID and everything. What I'm holding is known as cutlass. I had it in Mombasa as well. But then here it tastes also really, really good. Um, this one actually has more of a hint of lemon. I don't know if you guys can see it down there. It's like potatoes <coughs> covered with minced meat. Tastes really good. My final morning in Lamu. I'm having breakfast with. My breakfast is like huge. Got lots of food. <laughs> This is made of fish. Look at it, very dark. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. And then, this. It's known as Kitumbwa. I'm gonna just bite into it. 